welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind with Alaya and I. I'm Sapphire and this is episode 2. I had some sound problems in the first episode. There was, um... Yeah, the game audio was way too loud and my voice was way too quiet. This one's probably gonna be too far in the opposite direction, but... As I said, there's some things that we'll figure out, you know as we go. And I'm alright with that. Uh, last time we got the code book for Idas Fire Eye, the head of the Balmora Mages Guild, which is something that we'd been wanting to do for a very long time. And we also followed Ajira's instructions to head to Mount Khand from Molagma and retrieve Staff of Magnus cave of Asu, the door of which we are standing in front of now. Went in there and battled some wizards and got a pretty dope staff out of it. Um, this is it. Yep, Staff of Magnus. Anyway, we also had a task to investigate the ruins nearby of Ntleftington the or something similar sounding Edwina from the Mages Guild in our room wanted us to go do that. So I think that's our next stop. Recording this pretty much straight after the last episode because I'm excited to finally be playing again. I have been screwing around with mods so long and it's really nice to to finally yeah cool not far to finally play again an enchanting world really I mean it's kept me and so many others in its grip for 20 years now or something it was first released in 2002 or 3. This motherfucker's gonna want a piece of me. How did that miss? You're a ridiculous sometimes game. That one. If you've ever, um, if you've ever played Morrowind, you would know that there's an unnatural amount of cliff races. Just flying demons, basically. Horrendously annoying at low level, which we are not, thankfully. Um, I think I got a little turned around in here, is it that? Yeah, it's this way we want to go. Um, well, we'll slip past that guy, I reckon. Um, but yeah, you'll be familiar with these guys if you've ever played at all. I actually heard a rumor once that there was a glitch in the original game file that actually, or the game code, that accidentally added like way too many of them. But I don't know how true that is. Ooh. And ruining good views for years to come. These birds. Well, they're not really birds. They're kind of more like raptory things, I guess. Oh, Dwemer ruins are cool. Look at that. Oh, something's attacking me. A rat. I don't I don't love killing the, um, the little raddies. They do ask for it, unfortunately, most of the time. Look at this. Never seen anything like that before. You're right there, mate. 
Here, let me help you out. Oh my god. You know what, never mind. I don't... I, you're not worth it. Got, a, got an error. Should be alright. Yeah, you're right there, game. Yep, yep. Nice. Is that a marking on that rock? No, no, back back there the texture looked a little a little interesting. Maybe it is. No. It's just it's just rock. Just rock. When I was a kid I get him from here. When I was a kid I used to used to hate the Daedric ruins. They were absolutely fucking terrifying. I'd get my dad to go into them for me. <laughs> Sometimes you need to for quests and stuff and Yeah, it always Dad. Oh my god, just getting ruined. It's amazing how we grow <laughs> as people. Let's go! I was sent to look for um, for someone called called you. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. Well, you might be able to. I'm Selenius Cadiasus, and this is my daughter Pania. I am excavating these Duema ruins. Oh, did Edwina send you? I'm afraid I don't have an excavation report for her. I don't exactly have an excavation report for her. No, Edwina, everything is fine. We've just had a few setbacks. Our native guide, Anna Svendu, is missing. Well, he was taking notes for our next excavation report. He must have taken it with him when he disappeared. Somehow he must have gotten into the lower levels. Would you try and find him? Alright, um, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I like the music got particularly loud in here. It's a bit better. It's a little overwhelming. Hi, Pania. So you must be Selenius's daughter. Yeah, what can I do for you? Uh, what can you tell me? I've been worried about him. Right before he left for the lower levels, he kept saying something about the test of pattern. I hope he's alright. I already asked you about that. That one. If you must talk about this boring excavation business, you should talk to my father, Selenius. Senilius. Alright then. Little secret? Dark Elves say the Tribunal defeated Merun's Dagon himself in battle at the height of their powers. So why didn't Vivek use his grand powers while fighting the Empire? If he can cause floods and hurl moons, as the stories say, why did he just use common troops and war strategies? <laughs> because they're just stories, that's why. Common sense, when you think about it. But the Dark Elves are a proud lot. You know how much their legends and superstitions mean to them. They do seem like a traditional bunch, but I don't necessarily think that that's a flaw. Tradition is important, sometimes. I think Arleia would think so anyway, being a witch. And affecting her rituals and such. Oh man, this, this lighting situation though. It didn't take us that long to get here. I wonder if we could cast Mark here at 
wall texture is awesome. Oh, yes. I don't know what I'm using for the um, for the Dwemery texture, but I'll have to have a look. I'm in the process of compiling my mod list to put in the YouTube description. We'll see if I'll have finished it by the time this is uploaded or not. Um, yeah, I feel like it's gonna get pretty dark. Look at that, I can't even see the, the door. Alright, let's get a light spell bucket. So when we cast Mark, we'll be able to teleport back to this spot. At the moment, I've got it in Master Arian's tower, who I report to for the Telvani, but I think this is, um, I think this is a better use for it for the minute. Because we can get back to Molagmar pretty easily, I think, with um, this. Um, Civi intervention lets me teleport back to the nearest Alm Civi, it's the tribunal. Uh, what was I saying? It allows me to teleport to the nearest shrine. I hope it's not inside Malkand. We'll see. Uh, maybe I should quick save. <laughs> We're in Surin. Alright, that's not too far. That's not too far. And we'll go a different way, which will be which will be interesting. Alright. Light spell. Hello. Light on self. Um, I don't know what I mean, what's what's the magnitude of the one that I've got? Why? Sorry, one sec. Right, twenty points, and twenty points is pretty good. That lights up the area pretty nicely. So, yeah, we'll go twenty points as well then. I can always make another one that's different. There we go. Maybe a minute. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Maybe we could do it a little bit more. 75. Nice even round 75. Yeah. I still like those odds. Although... No, actually, maybe we will put it back to 60. Don't want the light spell to be too... magic draining Thank you for this spell. Oh yeah, nice. That's that's pretty good. Alright, cool. Now we should just be able to teleport straight back. Hell yes. Hello! You want something? Can I take these? Yeah, you don't. You guys don't care. Ah, sick. I uh, won't take any of this stuff though. It's all. I've got some in my house already. I should hotkey that light spell. I think that's going to be really handy. What don't I use a lot? The, the 
I don't really use the belt from here. Illuminate. So what's that now? Number three. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, I think I gotta check out the rest of the area that you guys are hanging out in before I go delving into the into the depths of the ruins for missing members of your. Oh, whoops. There we go. Maybe I should have made it last a little bit longer. Oh well, sometimes you don't want be super brightly illuminated. What time is it actually? 3 p.m. All right, cool. That's still an okay time. Probably don't need a nap yet. The retexture has just made this gorgeous. I haven't really been in many Grima ruins in this playthrough yet, and I am impressed. That's awesome. I wonder if there's, there's probably no reason to fly up there, but can't help but check sometimes. You know what, even if there wasn't anything worth um, coming up here for, I think it's still cool. Grimma cylinder. I'll take it. Sometimes I think these can be used to plug into various bits and pieces, pieces around the ruins. So, not bad to have one have one on me, just in case. I think the Coheras can too. Um, they're a lot heavier. So. Yeah, they weigh 40. Which just feels a little bit excessive to me. Alright, well you guys haven't, haven't got, didn't have that much more worth exploring, but I couldn't even see any of this without my light spell. Like, yeah. <laughs> Nuts. A realistic lighting mod has definitely made the dark areas a lot darker, which I kind of like. A little something something to make the game a little bit more difficult and interesting. Oh, which way? Which way? Test of pattern. Ah, oh, that's what he was talking about. So that's that's definitely the way that that old mate's gone. What's his name? Um, Anis. Anis Vendu. Oh yep, yeah, not much in here. And not much in here either. His old bed frames are creepy as fuck. I guess we better use the... oh. Yeah, of course. Poison me, why don't you? Not all cranks are good cranks. Oh, you oh, get no curiosity though. Ugh, of course. I mean, like... Still... Uh... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, still gonna do it. Alright, that one did something. Frank seems to be stuck. Alright, well, 
there doesn't seem to be much else in this room along that side. I wonder if I have to come back and try to use some of the other cranks at some point, but we'll see what it even was affecting. Um, oh man. These places do still make me a bit nervous. I think all the sound effects and stuff were done really well. So Here we go. Oh. Yeah, nice. And I think you guys are weak to shock. That would make sense. Oh. That did not do a lot. That's much better. Yeah, take that, motherfucker. Little spoidy. So you're obviously a lot more visible to enemies. Actually, I might leave them here, and that way I know I've been this way. You're a lot more visible to enemies when you're um, illuminated. Whoa. So I'll keep this out. This is a dangerous area, clearly. Dangerous place. Roman ruins. Is this the way? No, this wasn't the way we came. Is it? That's... Yeah, no, it is. It was. Okay, what's down here? thought though that just damage health seems to be the most effective I like often try to match up you know things that I feel like that would make sense like you know shock on the centurions and frost on the flame atronox and stuff but just plain old daedric bite seems to be a solid choice Get some light up in here. Oh, well, that looks like old mate, and he doesn't look like he's doing too well. My journal's been updated, yeah. You've got the report, though. Our excavations have turned up little in these last few days. I've found nothing new in the ruins. Everything seems as clean and undisturbed as the day we first opened the outer doors. I know there are unexplored depths. I can feel massive Dwemer machinery still running beneath my feet, even as I write this. But I can find no way to get to it. You must not give up on us for a lack of results this soon, Edwina. I'm sure a great discovery lies somewhere below. If only the secret of Passwall were not lost nearly a generation ago. With a few of those precious scrolls, I would be in the lower levels already where the real discoveries are to be made. There is some good news. I have also discovered that Mzleft you are looking for. Apparently, Mzleft is the proper name for the large Dwemer ruins south of Dagenfell. Be careful not to confuse them with the ruins of Nachardark nearby. The last of the Dwemer Centurion spiders in the upper levels were finally disabled and dismantled for study. 
I wish we could study them while they are still active, but that is far too dangerous. I also heard a strange story about the Centurion spider that we captured and sent back to Cyrodiil. The ship captain I hired wrote to me with an odd story. He said that the spider nearly broke through its cage several times while near Vardenfell, but once he left the Sea of Ghosts, the Centurion suddenly stopped working. What happened next shows that he had more wits than I gave him credit for. He ordered the ship turned about, and as they approached Vardenfell again, the Centurion began moving just as suddenly. This is a curious phenomenon, and certainly deserves more investigation. Your servant, Danilius Cadiusus. That's pretty interesting, actually. There's something about Bardenfell and the ruins that kept these things powered, or keeps these things powered. And you can see here that they are still are still active. I think a lot of the lore around the Dwemer in this game is really cool. Oh, I wasn't quite done in there. Uh, oh, a key! Key to two steel and iron doors within the chair dams. Most of my... Oh, there you go. I don't think I want the rest of that. And yeah, no, we don't. We don't need that. It's it's not quite worth it. Fortunately, wrapped. Well, we all know what that's time for. Proby woby. I think it's a thing now. Well, this proby woby shit. There we go. And sometimes you just have to insult things and then they work. Uh, another key to a door in the chur dams. Another hammer. Five, one fifty, ooh. Yeah. I can always drop it if I need to. This light spell is great. That was really worth going back for. I suppose it wasn't back because we ended up in Surin. Ooh! Got vampire dust? Ash salts. Not quite as valuable, but still. Yes, please! Yes, please! Oop. Oh, would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. So I suppose we go back to Senilius. Tell him of old mate's unfortunate fate. I'm sure that we will end up coming back here. I found, yeah, Annis's body. I wonder if I could explore further at this point. Probably not. I might need to do a bit more of the quest or I can investigate a bit further, but like, you know, go back, back to Edwina and get another task from her. I stand in good company. What can I do? I have some bad news. Did you find Annis? Did you get the excavation report? I did. Uh, I feared he might be dead. This is terrible news. I should never have let him explore the ruins alone. Did you find the report? I did. Found the report. Deliver it to Edwina, Elbert, and Aldrin. I will consider my work here. I'll continue my work here. Now that the lower levels are open, perhaps we can make more discoveries here. 
in honor of our deceased colleague, Anna Svendu. Yes. May he rest in peace. We will carry on our work in his honor. I, I respect that. The pursuit of knowledge is one of the most worthy. All right. Well, I guess it's to Aldrun to report. I think that we can, yeah, let's use our civvy intervention to get the hell out of here. Oh, lovely. 5 p.m. I think that time scale that we've set does work. I think that is good. Is there anything that we want to get rid of? Well, it's still daytime and we're hanging around here. Three keys to the same door in the Tridams. There you go. Well, we never have too many keys. We could go back to the house in Balmora and get rid of some of this alchemy stuff that we've picked up and some fancy clothes and stuff but um i see no harm in going and reporting to edwina first this is surin i really like surin i haven't uh been here much in this playthrough Pearl of the Ascadian Isles, as it is called. Ascadian Isles is a lovely place. I, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous area of the map. In uh, in the vanilla game it isn't it isn't white. And it's all it's it's been overhauled as well. As most of the, the major cities in my game have. Just like, it adds a bit of freshness to something that I've explored quite a few times already. It's not better cities, um, like in, in Oblivion, and I think Skyrim has better cities as well, but um, yeah, it's, a, it's just a collection of different town overhauls that I've chosen. Tried beautiful cities of Morrowind and I had a few problems with it so I just went and picked a few myself mushed them together where would you like to go I would like to go um, where are we going we're going to Aldrun but maybe we could go by way of of home it looks like we might need to why not? Where would you like to go? I just hiccuped a little bit. If uh, just heard anything yucky on the recording, then oh, oh no! Uh, bugger! Bugger! I wonder how far back we quick saved. Surely it wouldn't have been too far. Well, we'll find out, I guess. It crashes sometimes. It's just going to happen. Never know, I might end, even end up cutting this little bit out. We'll see. Oh yeah, nice. That was that was not too far back at all. I'm generally in a pretty good quick save habit. I've learned <laughs> it is it is worth it. I know, I know there are mods out there that, oh, oh. 
that will um, yeah automatically quick save every so often for you. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, it's incredible that such an old game can still be so completely gorgeous. I don't remember what I was saying. I'm sure it's not that important. Onwards to other room. You know what? I'm just gonna... Yep. My way of home, I think. Well, maybe we could just go to Vivek and and pass on through from there. But that's kind of in the opposite direction. Balmor is definitely closer. Um, where, where is it? It's, I think, it's, yeah, the little spots on the map have disappeared because the town overhaul has changed the layout slightly. But we have been there. Doesn't matter. We're going there now. By way of home. Why walk when you can run? Thought I'd check the time, but I can't until I go inside, it seems. Yeah, I I had a, a crash in that first episode and the guys who are out here and want to kill me are still around somewhere. But I'm not too worried about them, to be honest. Although one of them did do some significant damage to me. Yes, have a nap. Have a nap. Eleven. Not a bad time to be going to sleep. I think after all that, we'll sleep for a good ten hours. Yeah, that was a bit of a full-on time, you know, went to, I mean, we need to talk to Ajira anyway, so it's good we've come here, because we went to, we went to Asu and got the, yeah, got the staff that Ajira wants to check out. I'll just drop off my alchemy ingredients that we've picked up. Oh my god, what? Where is all of my, oh no, that's right, I used, I used them all. I made all of these bloody potions and so I have no ingredients anymore I thought I had like at least some still in there that is a little odd I wonder if all my items are gone from in here as well yeah they are oh no is that because I messed with my house file it is Oh, my containers have reset. Fuck. It'll be alright. I don't know that I had that much in there that I really need. I might check a previous save at some point and see if there's anything important that I've really lost. And if so, I can just add it back with the console. But and a bit of a clean slate isn't terrible anyway. Got some alchemy ingredients in a basket over here. Most of um, the important stuff is, yeah, the stupidly expensive weapons that we've collected that we can't sell to anyone just yet. Well, that's all right. Start the alchemy collection again. Yeah, I have done some tweaking of some of some mod ESPs in the construction kit. Um, I'm using Aesthesia ground cover reworked, which I needed to make compatible with all the various town overhauls I was using. So I just went into the construction kit and cleaned up a bit of the grass. And I also tried to make this house file um because this is this is a mod that i made myself this house I tried to make this house compatible with the town overhaul of balmora that i'm using 
which didn't work anyway for some reason. I'm not not bad with the construction kit. I mean, I'm not amazing either. I was better when I was younger, but you, you forget. It's a little bit like riding a bike, though, sometimes, I guess. We'll go sell that one. Um, we'll sell that one. Keep that. Sell that. Is there anything here that... Yeah, I think everything that I was really using and cared about is in my inventory. I will have lost some things, though. I gotta not worry about it. I'll have a look later. Um, yeah, I think that's about most of... Oh, there's some books. Oh, I think we've already got a copy of Corpse Preparation, too. Oh, we've got... Got corpse preparation three. Yeah, all right. Number two can go on top. Lovely. And I think that was a poem. Maybe we'll have to read at some point. I do love the books in Morrowind. I should read them more. I often never really get around to it, but. Maybe I'd like to do an episode where I just go to, like, Chabash's rare books in Vivek and visit the library there as well and just have a, have a whole reading episode. Just roleplay a library day. I feel like Arleo would be, would be keen on libraries. She's just keen on knowledge. In general. God, she looks like a badass. I might take sneaky screenshots here and there. I like capturing the prettiness of the game and, you know, I use them as well in my opening and end credits. Um, Sure, it's early morning anyway. I'm gonna go show off our fancy new stuff to our friend Ajira. Welcome, friend. Thank you. Hello. Actually, is a wondrous encounter. I think Welcome. you might like some of the things I've got here. I might keep that. Um, yeah, you can have that one. Damage health, 10 to 50 points on touch. That's not bad. I can have the flame mirror robe, though, I think. And chest of fire. I'll also just sell you that, because I can't be bothered to take it to someone else. Ancestor ring. I might keep that one. And have one of my amulets of slow fall, but not both. Where? Oh, there. Yeah. have that. That's actually pretty good. I wonder which of your skills it relies on to, to calculate what it ends up being. Yeah, that's probably all we want to give you for now. Um, ooh. Alright, I'll take something back. Uh, that one. Thank you. Thanks, Galbadia. Hey, yo, Ajira. Oh, hello there. I got something you want to check out. Ajira is a good friend of Alea and tells Alea about the staff of Magnus. And you know what? I got it. Ajira knows you have found the staff of Magnus. Now Ajira might tell you her other secret. Oh, okay. You know. How do you know? How do you... Bro. Okay. What's your other secret?
Tell me your secret. There's no... Maybe I need to just end conversation with you and um, talk to you again in a minute. I don't think I have anything that, that you would want to buy, actually. God, I do have just a billion and one potions. They come in pretty handy, though. I rely on them a bit. You know, I know you don't buy that. I don't know why I tried to sell you that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, Ajira has some duties for her good friend Alea. All right. Well, the staff was pretty cool. I wonder I wonder what else you want to tell me about. Ajira will tell friend Alea another secret. Ajira also knows about the Warlock's Ring. Well, that sounds like it could be useful as well. I, I do like this staff that you have uh, led me to. So that's why you went by another secret. You know where another fancy item is hidden, do ya? Ajira knows that Vindamir Drethen has the Warlock's Ring. Ajira tells you this because Ajira does not like Vindamir Drethen. <laughs> uh, classic. Classic wizard rivalries. She is in Ashibadan, a cave on a small island east of the ruins of Balfell. Thank you, Ajira. I appreciate. Appreciate your information, as always. And I'm glad you like the stuff. Thank you for... I, I'm assuming you had a good look at it. It's pretty dope. I mean, I should I should wield it and see what it see what it looks like. I haven't. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I don't um don't think it would be much use as an actual actual staff. Sorry, just bumped the mic there. Yeah, it doesn't do too much damage. Besides, my blunt weapon skill would be completely atrocious. Yeah, seven. Goodness. I mean, if I wanted to make things hard for myself. We'll, we'll go back to the dagger. Alright. Uh, let's go visit Edwina. Actually, where's Balfell? We don't know where Balfell is. Bal uh. Balfell. Ah! And where was it? On an island east of Balfell. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's this one. Oh no, east is this way. Oh, okay, there's quite a few scattered islands there. Well, that'll be fun to find. At some point. Edwina! I'm back for n from... From Ntlufton for... Go ahead, please. Tell me about yourself. Hi. Um, I got the excavation report. Yes, here it is. Thank you, Alaya. This report will be helpful, I'm sure. Yeah, cool. Um, in yeah, that's just directions. Excavation report. This is interesting. The excavation report mentions another Dwemer ruin, Mms left. Would you go there and look for some blueprints? <laughs> Classic Edwina. Uh, blueprints. Cenilius already sent the blueprints he found in Ntrelefdington the, to the Emperor. But the excavation report mentioned Mms left, which is southwest of Dagenfell. You will need to swim or fly across parts of the Sea of Ghosts. Bring back any plans or blueprints you find. 
That's interesting. I haven't been up to Dagenfell at all. Southwest. Wonder if it's on my map. Oh, that's very close. I'll have to swim or fly, apparently, but I don't, it's on the. I reckon I could just get a boat straight there. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure. Alright, so we've got an interesting Warlock's Ring. Uh, somewhere east of Balfell in the south. Or on the complete opposite side of Vardenfell, basically. Um, oh, she didn't say it was for a scarab. How did my... You know what? I just intrinsically knew that, I suppose, and wrote it in my journal. But yeah, well, we can go to M's left up in, up in the north. But I think that might be... Something for next time. Done a little bit of a shorter one than the first one this time. I didn't want to do one too long in case the sound needs... In case the sound needs some extra tweaking and stuff. We'll figure it out. I hope... I, I reckon it's got to be better this time, though. I um, played with the levels in OBS... And it feels a little bit better for me playing. I think that um, I was just thinking about so many things that, that first recording. It's easy for some stuff to fall by the wayside, but um, yeah. Been enjoying recording this so far. And I reckon it's something that um, I will aim for an episode a week. But we'll really have to see how we go on that. I'm not very good to sticking to schedules, I'll be completely honest, but this could be an exercise in discipline. But anyway, thank you for joining us again on our journey, Alaya and I. I'm Sapphire, and thanks for watching. <laughs>